I don't know about you, but I could always use some help improving my empathy skills. The podcast Next Door Villain helps us practice empathy by showing us the humanity in the fictional villains of pop culture. I'm Andy Smiley, the Friendly Podcast Guide. I'm a mom who has used podcasts to fight the boredom and loneliness of motherhood, and now I want to help you find a podcast that can do the same thing for you. It can be overwhelming to try and find a podcast you'll enjoy in the thousands of shows that are out there. That's where I come in. My episodes are short, and they answer all of the questions you'll have about the podcast, so you'll know if it's a good fit for you or not. I'm here to help you find a podcast you'll love without wasting your time. Now, let's talk podcasts. This is how hosts Joe and Tiana describe the show. We attempt to empathize with the most notorious fictional villains like Cruella DeVille, Draco Malfoy, Norman Bates, Harley Quinn, and more. With discussion, some literary art, and a bit of humor, we attempt to find the humanity behind these characters. Because if we can learn to connect with, relate to, and understand characters that were designed to be hated, then we might just have a chance at understanding our villainous selves as well as the villains we face in our everyday lives. The length of each episode is 30 minutes to an hour. The series is ongoing with new episodes available a couple times a month. Before we learn more about the vibe of the show, we're going to take a quick break to talk about Olive and June nail polish. I love having nail polish on, but I don't handle it well when my nail polish starts to chip a day or two after I paint my nails. That is where Olive and June comes in. I use their Manny system and my nail polish will stay on for a week with no chipping. It brings me so much joy every time I look at my nails with these fun colors, and I want you to have that joy too. You can get 20% off a Manny or Petty system by using the affiliate link in the show notes. Now we get to hear from Tiana as she talks about all the ways she and her co-host explore the humanity of a villain. I am so excited to talk to Tiana Hennings, who is the host of Next Door Villain. First of all, Tiana, can you introduce yourself a little bit to my listeners? Hi. Yeah, my name is Tiana. I'm the co-host of Next Door Villain. A little bit about me. I currently live in Shanghai, China, and I love it here. (laughs) And um, I also enjoy, you know, writing poetry, doing the podcast and doing other artistic projects. That is a very diverse group of things. I love that. (laughs) Being creative in all the different ways. Oh, yeah. Always. Nice. Okay. So I really am excited to learn about how your podcast got started and like what made you want to start this podcast because it is definitely unique. And yeah, I'm excited to hear. (laughs) Yeah. So my co host, Joe, and I, um, we decided that it would be so helpful um, if we could uh, practice our empathy skills um, Mm -hmm. and practice understanding different perspectives of people. And it would be great to practice that on fictional villains. (laughs) So we thought, hey, we like villainy. (laughs) We like pop culture. (laughs) We like um, nerding out about villains. So, hey, let's, you know, get together and talk about um, what we like about them, how we relate to them, um, and how we can understand their perspective, even if we don't entirely agree with it. Um, Because sometimes in our own personal lives, uh, we want to you know, sometimes it might be hard to understand the perspective of someone who we think is a quote unquote villain in our personal mm-hmm. lives. But <laughs> if we can maybe practice that, or if the listener can listen to how we might, you know, relate to them or understand their perspective, then maybe uh, they they could also improve their empathy skills in some ways. Um, plus, I just love being poetic. Um, We Mm. also feature literary art in the podcast. Um, Sometimes it's listener written. Sometimes it's host written, like by me. Um, And it's poetry and other literary art that uh, is usually from the perspective of the villain that we're covering um, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or about the villain in some way. And when you can use poetry, it just gets down deeper into the character um, than we otherwise would if we just kept it as as discussion. There is discussion. There's discussion, literary <laughs> art, um, also some random silliness as well. <laughs> sure, of course. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, I, you know, I just love being poetic, and um, you know, you can say things that are so that are generally hard to say in plain language. Um, you can sometimes understand the villain better if you hear 
um, what they're like poetically. Sure. That is so interesting. I had never thought of improving my empathy skills by trying to relate to villains, but (laughs) I bet it's a great way to work on that. Yeah. 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 I think Joe and I have improved our empathy skills. We've been (laughs) doing it for a while now. Um, And we also found out that maybe we're more villainous than we thought ourselves, you know, (laughs) relate to the villains. You're like, oh, huh. I'm kind of like this sometimes. Like I've sure. done this too in, in, in similar ways, you know. Definitely. I feel like we've kind of answered it, but I'd love to dive a little deeper on what do you want people to get out of your podcast? Yes. Yes. You know, well, I want people to be entertained. Sure. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. I want people to get a better idea as to how one might empathize with someone or a villain um, when you hear us do it. Um I want people to experience the literary art. And I also want people to enjoy the podcast community. You know, Um, we have a pretty active Instagram where, uh, you know, our listeners or baddies, as we like to call them, you know, (laughs) get to (laughs) interact with us and nerd out about the villains that they love to and relate to. Um, A lot of our listeners end up, you know, relating to a lot of the villains or are they like hearing episodes about the villains that they feel they're similar to. So yeah, I guess those are the general things I'd like to pick it out. That's wonderful. That is one of my favorite parts of podcasts is the community. And especially as a stay at home mom, I need that community a lot of times when I can't leave the house. Well, I choose not to leave the house because it's too hard with three littles and having a podcast community that I can be a part of and feel connected to is just so nice on during those stages of life when it's just hard to get out. So yeah, that's wonderful. So how, how would you describe the vibe of your show? I would say it's sometimes a bit silly while at the same time, or sometimes deep, cool, and literary. So it's like a mix <laughs> sure. of silliness, but also trying to be chill. I know <laughs> it's kind of a mix of a lot. So, and it's also kind of for me, at least, sometimes I, it's a desperate attempt to be edgy, but then sure. I fail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, like, yeah, villainy. And then I just stay cheesy. So, sure. well, you know, that sounds like, <laughs> Every, I think everyone can relate to that. Everyone right. feels a little edgy. And and honestly, there are probably people out there that are actually edgy. But I think <laughs> right? for the majority of us, we're just trying and feeling kind of cool. But mostly we're just kind of silly and cheesy. So I think oh, yeah. that's fabulous and easy to relate to. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, so I'm going to ask you what your favorite episode is. But before you tell me to give yourself a minute to think, can you tell me where can people find you? Yes. So of course you can look up Next Door Villain in your podcast app. Um, and Next Door Villain and Villain is spelled V I L L A I N. Uh, it's a common misspelled word. Um, and also you can find us on Instagram at Next Door Villain and on our website, nextdoorvillain.com. Fabulous. Yes. I will make sure to link all of that in the show notes so people can jump straight to where they want to go. And okay, moment of truth. What is your favorite episode or a couple of episodes? Because I know it's hard to just choose one. Uh, Yeah, this is a hard question. But (laughs) I would say one that's really in the top is um, our Tom and Jerry episode where we related to Mm. Tom the cat. Um, (laughs) We really got deep into talking about the benefits of chasing what you want. Um, and okay. kind of the philosophy of Tom from Tom and Jerry. Um, it was also just overall very fun to do. So I did a pretty silly segment in it that relates to my love of cats. Um, like in the <laughs> beginning, uh, it's a spoof on kind of a famous YouTube video from a few years ago. And sure. anyway, I get to express my love of cats um, seriously cats save have saved my life. <laughs> I know that sounds dramatic. Okay. Um, and we were also able to feature a poem written by a listener um, about Tom. And it's such a wholesome poem. It kind of got me right in the feels. And so just overall, I thought our Tom the Cat from Tom and Jerry episode was really cool. Um, 
That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> I will make sure to link that too, because I want to go listen to that now. That sounds yeah. absolutely fabulous. Yes. So one question that I ask all of my hosts that I have on the show is, is your podcast okay for little ears? It is not, um, which is surprising. You think it would, <laughs> right? But I think, I don't know, because so, sometimes, you know, we talk about horror villains too. So the moment mm. we start talking about that, it gets kind of gory. We do put an explicit tag on most of our episodes just because, sure. again, I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe it's our personalities, but we 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 get more adults <laughs> than than we plan on being. So, um, so no, it's not. But I hope maybe, you know, when the kids are in bed, <laughs> you'll take a listen. <laughs> totally. Well, or what I do is I'll just put a headphone in. Be like, oh, I'm oh, just going. Yeah. This this is a headphones podcast because I need, I still need like adult conversation, and I want to talk about hard things, but I'm not ready to, you know, dive into the gore of it or whatever with my littles. Right. But I still want to think about it and like, yeah. So right, that's exactly what I needed to know. Is this is a headphones podcast, and that <laughs> is great. <laughs> cool. Um, is there anything else that you want to add that we haven't touched on yet? Gosh, I guess just to say, you know, I keep saying like fictional villains, fictional villains. I guess I should have clarified what I mean by that. Um, <laughs> I'm talking about, you know, I guess fictional villains in TV shows and movies, a little bit of literature too. So like, um, you know, and it's from a wide range of different um, TV shows and movies, like a wide range. I'm talking, you know, we just did an episode on Two-Face from Batman, but we also did Tom and Jerry and Maleficent and the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland. And uh, like it goes from Disney to horror to sci-fi, you know, it's there's just a lot of different genres. So if you're a fan you know, of a particular TV show or a movie, like check out our list and see if we've got a villain from that TV show or movie that you really like. Definitely. Okay. Fabulous. Well, and that's fun because then a lot people from all different types of like all different things that they like can find something in your podcast. So that's great. Oh yeah. And how long have you been podcasting? How many, how long have you been doing this, this podcast? It's actually been since 2018. Um, Good for you. Yeah. And we did take quite a long break in 2020 um, for obvious reasons. Yes. Um, and and I will say that like, I think our episodes have gotten a lot, lot better um, starting in like 2021 onward. I think, you know, sometimes there's a learning curve and um, sometimes I didn't know what I was doing. So I'm just, you know... Yeah, I've got the hang of it now, though. <laughs> so <laughs> there is a learning curve with everything, including podcasting. And oh, yeah. I think we can all give grace when it comes to that, because if we don't, then we don't get grace back. So that right. makes sense to me. <laughs> well, thank you so much for sharing your show with us. And I cannot wait to introduce my listeners to your show. Yeah, I'm so excited. Thank you so much for having me. This was a lot of fun, really. Thank you for listening to this episode. If you know someone who could use Next Door Villain in their life, will you share this episode with them? Also, if you want fabulous nails with nail polish that lasts for a whole week with no chipping, use my affiliate link to get 20% off an Olive and June Manny or Petty system. Talk to you soon. I think I just heard a kid get out of their room. So, okay. <laughs> yeah, you take care of that. <laughs>